Hello, hello, hello everyone. This is Disgruntled Elk back at it with another league video with a, a new take on Hammer. Um, if you're on the Patreon, you have seen a very similar list to this. Um, I made some slight changes since that after trying to kind of trying some things out more. But um, yeah, so let's just kind of dive into it. So we have our seven um, colorless lands, the sagas, the ink moss, nothing crazy. And then we have eight. And so the reason we have eight fetches, and it doesn't matter which ones, um, these are just the ones I picked, is because we are splashing green for Haywire Might. I did have one in the main, and I think it's defensible, but um, I think you can probably just play it in the sideboard, and then game one, you only ever need to worry about getting blue mana via the three hollowed fountains, and white mana via the plains, and of course, all the other shock lands. Now, one thing I I saw a couple people doing, um, I think Will and Abe were, were the two that I saw. They're playing one Horizon Canopy. I think uh, Mason Clark was also playing this one card. Um, I kind of like the 23rd land. I've been wanting another white source for a minute, and I figured I'd give it a shot. I haven't gotten to play with it much, but... I like it enough to try it. I cut the one Steel Shaper's Gift for it, just because I think that was the most replaceable card. Um, still have my one Paradise Mantle, two Springleaf Drums for Ornithopter split right there. Pretty standard. We have two Skill, two Giver, two Spell Pierce, and I did move the Haywire Might uh, out of the, the main deck for the Nettle Cyst. Um, I have been running into a decent amount of Cascade, so I went ahead and... I've also been running into less of the Goblins Merfolk decks, and so I decided, you know what, we're just going to cut the Hushbringers. If I lose the Elementals, I'm, I lose the Elementals, and I'm fine with that. I think that matchup is pretty rough anyway. So I added a third Sanctifier in Vec because there's a ton of Murktide, ton of um, Black Red Scam, and uh, I've seen some Grixis Shadow running around as well, and this card is just insane in all those matchups. Um, and so I cut the two Hushbringers, one for a Sanctifier, and then one for a second Duranth Magistrate. I think the card's totally reasonable. Uh, it's good Cascade Hate. It also doubles as Hate against Underworld Breach from them. So with that said, we're going to go ahead and jump into a league, and I will see y'all in round one. All right, and here we are for round one, and uh, I'm going to be on the play, which is always good news. This is a, a very good hand. We have an Equipper, a Hammer. We can we can just turn to Hammer someone, and we have Nettle Cyst as a backup threat. Like, this is an incredibly easy keep. Um, and I think I will just go Planes here. This is bad if they have exactly um, a way to kill the aid, but I am content with losing to that. Okay, that's not what we want to see. Okay, well, the good news is we're against Yawgmoth, 99%, but they're probably just going to die. So. Um, so I think I'm better off just hitting them for 10 here. Yeah, because if we... Let's see, they could go bird... I mean, we kill them either way, so I I kind of like this more. Just kind of press, okay, so no blocks, hammer. And I will go ahead and throw the Shadow Spear on there as well. Um, this deals an extra point of damage, and this means that uh, we can potentially do a ton of damage with just the Nettle Cyst, even if they have an answer for a Colossus Hammer. Which, if they have an answer for Hammer, they'll probably have an answer for Ornithopter, but... Screw it, just hit him for uh, 11. And I don't know anything main deck that they can do about this. Maybe If they have like a Fatal Push, obviously that does it, but it's it's a big ass game. Okay, Forest, you got it. Okay, tagging for one, I respect that. Okay, I will go ahead, play out the Windswept Heath. Ooh, Besage you, okay, cool, that's a good one. Yep, yep, definitely could have considered that. Um, Play that. I don't think there's a reason to shock it in. And so now we can end of turn flash in Nettle Cyst because of Cigar Disaid. It'll be a one, two, three, four. We can turn it into a five and then move the Shadow Spear to it. Still just pressuring a ton of damage. Wall of Roots, you got it. Oh, okay. Hmm. I think we just let this happen. Just take the one here. And of course, if we draw enough. The idea here is to just pressure as much as we possibly can. Like this. Um, yeah, so if we had waited and tried to go for the ink moth kill we just get blown out even worse and they don't have less life okay cool so that's that's a hammer um and we need to okay so we can go stone forge equip shadow spear play a land and that way the germ will survive even if they have another removal spell so i think i'm actually going to fetch a basic here planes move this here and of course the reason i'm doing this is because now 
if they kill the nettle cyst, the shadow spear will stick around. And yeah, let's get us a hand. Yeah, and this was obviously just like a very, okay. Yeah, do the thing. Just kind of force them to have interaction at every spot. Okay, yeah, put it here. And so they could kill the uh, the shadow spear here, which would be good, um, which it looks like that's what they're doing. They just had two besages. What a jerk. Um, probably. Stop, stop. <laughs> let's that uh, no no reason no reason to uh, pay to life hit the young wolf kind of so we need to hit i didn't i don't know how many besages yogmoth usually runs i didn't think it was that many but at least we have suppressed our life total so it's going to be harder for them to to actually go off um if we find a hammer or a, another stone forge we're in pretty good shape here pretty good checks out and kill the germ yep also makes sense String over guys. That is fine. So I think we're just gonna try to kill them over two turns with an ink moth nexus. Um, I'm just gonna take two here. Another hammer. Kind of another hammer. Um so I think we so we animate ink moth, put one, two, three, four, six, put nettle cyst on it, kill the grist. Do we care about killing the grist at this point though? So we have seven mana to play with. We could also just present lethal over two turns with the ink moth nexus, right? Play this, animate, because this should be one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, definitely lethal over. Um, yeah, and I don't think there's two attack. I think we're just gonna move the, just gonna move the uh, nettle cyst to the stone forge post combat. All right. Like, I don't think the Grist being in play for one more turn makes a huge difference. Two has got to be like the most Besejus that uh, Yawgmoth can run, but I could be wrong. Okay, we won. Um, unfortunately, this is definitely a matchup I would have liked to have those Hushbringers in. Good news is it's a bad matchup, so who cares? <laughs> um, so those are good for sure. Um, Path is good enough. Blacksmith skill is good because it protects Needle. Uh, I think Spell Pierce is pretty bad. Asper Sentinel is like absolutely heinous in this matchup. So yeah, there is always a consideration to bring in Lavinia as like a, a way to punk out a, um, a what's it called? Uh, a Court of Calling. But I don't know. Are there more cards I'd want to cut? I think Nettle Cyst is pretty bad. I'm down to try it. Like, what's the worst that happens? We lose. We just bring in one. I don't hate it. Um, it also stops Force of Vigor. All right. This is definitely something I have not done before, but I'm, I'm okay to try it out. Um, we are on the draw, though. We could probably cut pee and just go a little bit lower on lands and hope things work out. I'm okay with that. I mean, we'll, we'll, we'll do it for science. Um, if this had had a hammer... I would snap it off, but this cauldron is already kind of a mulligan. Um, they are keeping seven as well. Uh, this hand cannot cast spells. Yeah, all right. Keep probably bottom shadow spear. We're bottoming second saga. I think it's either saga, Lavinia. I think it's a saga because I think we need to draw color D way if we want to win this game. Hopefully we draw. Opponent had spells on turn one on their seven card hand okay second giver not really where we want to be i'm also totally willing to believe that bottoming second saga was a bad idea we shall see i think mulliganing to five is is pretty rough as it is um and they could also oh, milled over a yog kind of like that colored source not quite but i don't hate it um so i think we're actually supposed to play Giver. we could play giver and then next turn play aid could attack the grist for one play the giver yeah, I like it. The reason I'm doing this is because this way they have to, they don't just get to go minus minus on the grist. They have to do something in between. All right, yeah, let me tap more things. Um, the other reason I don't want to play the aid is I don't want to incentivize them to to blow a force of vigor yet if they have it, because I, I kind of need this Ursa Saga to stick around another turn or two. I'll end Liberty. Pretty gross. I don't like that. Okay, I do like milling over force of vigor. Uh, so they should just pop this right now. Yep, good call. Um. All right, all right. It's so like not in great shape here. <laughs> I will acknowledge we are not in great shape. Um, I don't think we can attack here, so I will pass a turn and I will hope to draw more lands. This Lavinia would have been a Horizon Canopy, or or it or it could have been a not Horizon Canopy, right? That too. Okay, so they still have Endurance, which is good to know about. Endurance isn't one to keep in, but maybe they just don't have enough to board out. Wall of Roots, yeah, you got it. So this would deal X where X is the number of creatures in your graveyard. So one, two, three. All right, does it drain or just lose life? Okay, okay, so they don't have a yaw. Okay, still not a yaw. And if they just they attack, I'll take it. No, because they ticked up. Okay, so. 
if we play Lavinia, it means they cannot cord for a Yogg. So I will do that. Because cording for a Yogg is, yeah, a million. All right. This is a weird game. Um, are they going to force a Vigor here? They can't because they have one. So, okay. Are they just cording right now? That was the last card in their hand. I feel like they should have already done this. Yeah, I don't. I think they were supposed to do this. Yeah, I mean, we're we're wildly dead now, right? I guess not technically. We can go, we can force them to sacrifice a lot of things, but like, I feel pretty wild. Why didn't they just get the Yogg on my turn? Oh, oh, it stops them from drawing a card too, right? All right, this is, this is okay. So they are sacrificing, probably gonna kill this giver, right? No reason not to force them to do all the things now. Yeah, Lavinia is probably bad. Oh, uh, pro black. And I get F6 value now too. Sick. I'm trying to think what I would need to win from here. And I think it's a lot of things. <laughs> I think it's a lot of things. They just have three bayous in flight, four bayous. Uh, yeah, so they can... I just need to see a uh, blood artist effect where they drain me out and I'll concede from there. They do need to show it to me. I'll let them keep going. I'll just go ahead and pick up when they eventually do kill me. All right, cord for two and we are dead g g all right let's go for game three um super high on the lavinias i'd almost rather have like a pierce or two i think i'm just gonna put the canopy back in could just keep like a pierce it seems pretty bad but i could see them tapping low whatever whatever we'll try this sure don't think it makes a huge difference so i'm not gonna concern myself too much with it okay so we have no way to equip a hammer and we don't have a stone forge. Um, all right, yeah. I, I think I'm just gonna keep this and bottom an arid mesa and hope to kill them on turn three. Okay, they multiply five, so I like the I like the aggressive play a lot more. And of course, I'm bottoming the land because I want two shots at killing them with an ink moth in case they do have like a bird or something. So yeah, we'll just um, just lead hollowed fountain aid and pass the turn. Who knows, maybe we'll like a stone forge off of the, uh, oh, okay. Okay, pass turn. Yeah, and we'll just go for the kill. If they have the answer, they have the answer. Boo. Oh, I guess this still kills them because we have the shadow spear as well. And for that, counting is hard. Yeah. Okay. Um, yes, yeah, so we go planes, animate, attack, block. We probably just like shadow, or we probably just do nothing. Yep, all right. So I will I will just do nothing. I'm fine with that. Yeah, no reason for me to to do anything else okay okay mm, nope all right let's try to kill him again endurance would be my guess you got it yep all right i mean th this is what we came here to do right okay that's why we kept the second hammer a paladin would also be a a pretty good draw here what you got for me opponent tapping three lands do we have uh like crime and punishment for one yep okay it's pretty good okay hopefully they just like play it yeah all right okay so we can go drum paladin i wonder if there's a reason to ending here probably is okay so let's just think about this right so we can go paladin drum hammer don't do anything i think we go paladin drum ending the noble hierarch because that means if they have like exactly grist they won't have a body to sacrifice lead with this done okay i mean them only getting the five helps us a lot uh, and like they probably don't, I mean, they could have force of vigor. I feel like if they had force of vigor, they would have held the ignoble in their hand. Okay, sure. All right. So, um, yeah, let's play a hammer here. Start there. Ooh, okay. So now we, we definitely go get a basic planes because we only have the one, doesn't matter. Um, so we can animate with the planes shadow spear i like shadow spear here too i guess we want to do this first though because this means we can move the hammer so that way if they kill the paladin we don't care and if they kill the ink moth we just like move the we just move the um hammer and hit them for a pile of damage uh yes card oh wow that's <laughs> okay deck uh yeah all right so this is a really good way to beat your bad matchups by drawing well and your opponent will get into five. It's like a really good plan. Draw a card, sure, yeah. Woo, got got the game against Yawgmoth. I will see y'all in round two. All right, we are back for round two after taking down the Yawgmoth. Um, we're on the draw. We have an equipper, a hammer, and a saga. Like, it's hard to throw this hand back. It's not perfect. I'd love something to do on turn one, but 
Tans. Okay, so very likely Merktide. Yeah, Merktide is. So we're just gonna fetch for. Ooh, okay. Um, that and pass the turn. All right. So if they, I mean, we're probably doing the same card list. They're probably uh, heat the thing. Sure. And I'm actually leaving this up because if they have a bobble, okay. I mean, I don't know. It doesn't. It doesn't. We're being real. It does not make it. So we're gonna take one here. They bend a dragon rage off of knife trigger the surveil trigger whatever guy. Okay. And I just don't wanna. I wanna get blown out by blood moon as little as possible. So we can, so I'm trying to figure out if we're playing Urza Saga this turn, um, or if we're gonna grab another basic and play stone. So if we grab another basic, play stone forward, go get a hammer. <clears throat> There's also the issue like, so I wanna make sure I have double white for this pure seal. So yeah, I think I'm just gonna here. As much as I would love to get an Esper Sentinel into play, I think getting the Stone Forge in under a counter spell is irrelevant, and I will just get. If they kill the Stone Forge, that's fine. I'd rather they not, so that's why I actually didn't get Cauldra. Um, I also don't think we're in spot to use a Cauldra, so they're gonna kill this as well. Sure. Okay. Honestly, not too sad about that. Benny and Express Federation. So we're definitely not getting blood. Got it. <laughs> okay. So they have counters. Um. So I like. So if we go Esper Sentinel, Ink Moth, and they kill the Sentinel, then we still won't have Metal Craft. So I'm Saga here, Sentinel. And I will actually play out the Hammer here. Okay, so just, sure. So I'm gonna play the, the Colossus Hammer here for a couple reasons. One, because it gets it onto the board, but two, um, it's gonna pump these constructs that we're probably going to make, but we know they're down two counter spells as well. So we're, they missed a land drop, which was really big for us as well. Might be pretty close, because they're they're pressuring us reasonably. And if they go like Merc Tide, then that's kind of problematic. <laughs> Don't think I can do much about that either. Not gonna not gonna sweat it too much. Um hopefully we just draw like a, a second hammer or something like that. Yeah, so it's a Merc Tide coming down. Five here. Yeah, drawing exactly like Drawing exactly, I guess any any one mana artifact is really good here. Okay, so they have creatures. So it might be hard for them to actually turn the Dragon Rage on again. Okay, um, this is really interesting. So we can go, so I think we are playing Ink Moth, play Ink Moth with it, which is like pretty relevant. I don't think, yeah, so if we play Ink Moth, we cannot make a construct though, which is not great. Um, if we play Ink Moth, and play Paladin. We can also play a, no we can't. So we can play Paladin. They kind of have to kill the Paladin. And then next turn, we can make a, the next turn, this pops, go get a Shadow Spear. So that forces them to have two removal spells in the last the last three cards in their hand. Yep. Yeah, if we have a, uh, if we just have like an, any one mana artifact there, we're in really good shape as well. Uh, it would have to be like another hammer, a mantle, something like that. Say so we've seen a bolt, two counter spells, a heat, and a DRC to these. And I do believe we're just floating off of the saga here. Because if we float off of saga, we go get probably a shadow spear. I guess it depends on what we draw. Um, and then we animate. If they kill the paladin in response, we can play the paladin and then animate or then e equip and kill. Yeah. This is fine. Hopefully it, it worked. Okay, expressive iteration. Dicey. Okay, so it does almost get them to delirium. So that will not get them to delirium yet. Let's see what they exile. I may also end up using the Ink Moth as a blocker here, depending on what they do. I won't be happy. The fact that they're having to tank, <laughs> that's good news. Okay, so steam vents. So are they shocking? Looks like it. I'd be okay, but it wasn't a fetch land. So DRC is not turned on. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so the, back in, the second Paladin's really big here. Also, not shocking Hollowed Fountain at any point this game has been really relevant, because there's, there's a big difference between me being at 9 and me being at 11. All right. So, are you cracking in with... Um, so if they aren't cracking in with both, I'm not. There's no reason for me to... Um, I will go to 4. Okay. Are we killing Paladin? Ragavan, sure. Um, so they're dead? Yeah. So... This pops, yeah, okay, I think so, right? Yeah, we don't need to make a dude. We don't need to make a dude. We can just go get, go get a shadow spear to be sure. 
put both on the ink moth nexus and give the flying again yep go get a shadow spear draw a card that's how this card works Ooh, okay i'm gonna do that before playing the second ink moth because that way i can't possibly misclick <laughs> <laughs> that's that's the plan and let's make it f i don't think there are any cards this is when they go like solitude pitch solitude they're, they're, they just all right cool all right that was close but we got there and all right how are we sideboarding so i've liked cauldra kind of less and less as they've gotten more things to kind of screw with your day so that's probably coming out i think ornithopter is actively pretty bad so the Ornithopters are easy outs. I think Paradise Mantle is a bit ambitious. It's definitely a matchup where you just want kind of your drum effects more. Um, I like Needle a lot because it shuts off engineered explosives. I think Path is good killing a Murktide. The Sanctifiers are obviously very, very good because their deck has a lot of red spells. That's protection. From um, and then on the draw, I don't hate Prismatic Ending either because just tagging a Ragavan cleanly is, is I think, really good. Um, and so the question is, what are we cutting? I kind of like cutting another draw because I think they also just get a lot worse without the Ornithopters. We can certainly cut the Cauldra. Um, I think Nettle Cyst is okay, but less good now that they have things like Brotherhood's End. Um, I like Esper Sentinel. I like Givers. I like Pierces. Um, we could cut the Horizon Campy, but hitting your land drops in this matchup is so important. So maybe on the draw... I'm also tempted to like not play all the Sanctifiers, but it's possible on the draw we only play the three Blacksmith skills, and on the play we have the extra. Yeah, I'm fine with that. All right, let's go. Wee. Okay, um... I'm gonna lose the Blood Moon, and I'm calling that right now, but I'm also okay. Um, Esper Sentinel is so good in this matchup. Stone Forge, of course. Oh, they mulligan to five? Yeah, I, I like this hand even more. Um, if we do hit a White Source, then we just get to Sanctify them, too. Um, if we ever find any Equipper, this hand's very good. Um, this hand's not perfect, obviously, and there are things it loses, too, but a lot of times in this matchup post board, it also gets super grindy, so I like just having seven cards if your hand's functional. But yeah, let's, let's see what we get. Uh, pretty pretty straightforward. I don't think it, like I said, I don't think it's a perfect keep, but I think it's totally defensible. Bobble, wow. Okay, their hand could be anything. They're bobbling themselves, so they probably have a fetch land here. Okay. I don't like that they, wow, their hand could literally be anything. It could even be a boat. All right, that's fine. You can draw your car. Okay, I like that a lot. Um, I will just lead with the hallowed fountain here because now if they blood moon me, I have the, the sneaky planes as it were. We do have the Nettle Cyst still in here, right? Okay, so they missed a land drop against our Sentinels. Okay, yeah, so I think I will attack for one point of damage, and then I will play Esper Sentinel and Colossus Hammer off of If they want to Spell Pierce, I'm okay with... But yeah, now I'm playing the, the Hammer there, obviously, because now we have an Ink Moth kill, because we go... Um, or I guess we don't have an Ink kill, but... We just, we just are hitting them for 11, 12 points of damage. They're just so far. All right. Yeah, this is just one of those spots where opponent probably kept kept a one land five and just didn't find another. Okay. Um, Kind of get blown out by spell snare, but we have three already. So worry about it. Wrap it up there. Hit you for 12. Move this here. Yeah. And so the reason I'm doing that is because there's there's like no world in which they can get rid of this post board yeah all right that was not a very interesting game i think game one was really interesting i think there was a lot of back and forth usually the post board games in this matchup are the interesting ones but sometimes they just mulligan to oblivion and uh and you win the game but i'll see y'all in round th all right we are back for round three get someone with an excellent taste in no i take it off uh kahira so very likely either blue white control or um like elementals neither of which this hand lines up against like we really want an urza's saga so i think we most so they mulligan as well that's good um this hand is also pretty atrocious uh this one is fine question is what are we they kept six um i think hammer is not great because we don't have an equipper and then ornithopter is pretty bad <laughs> keep keep it simple right all right so we'll probably turn one hollowed fountain esper sentinel here okay get our blue source in if i knew for sure that they were on blue white control i probably would have just um gone windswept heath pass and that way we hold up the pierce for their chalice of the void all right yep chalice of the void at least we're gonna draw a card yep <clears throat> okay so okay honestly this could be a lot worse so we're just gonna jam a stone forge mystic here <sighs> <clears throat> so I guess first things first, let's get in for one. 
take our free free shot right here um, and yep get us a planes here stone forge mystic and i think i'm actually just gonna go ahead and get a cauldron right here could also get a nettle cyst but because we don't have a third land kind of higher on the kind of higher on the uh, the high upside play of cauldra so yeah this is not a great matchup um but we shall see what happens so right now they have uh jeskai and what else? yeah so they just have jeskai so leyline binding does cost three so they're probably going to fairy here would be my guess all right i draw another card probably bouncing stoneforge mystic here oh um okay honestly not super sad about this so they bounce that because obviously okay okay so yeah because obviously if he gets blown out by a uh by the chalice what do they pitch here another to fairy um so here i think i will actually get paradise and i think i play this in case they have a in case they have like exactly like another chalice if they chalice on zero then that's pretty rough all right um i'm pretty sure we're supposed to Probably just, we probably put the Paradise Mantle Thopter, right? And now, yeah, let's do the thing. Draw. So I would not be surprised to see a Leyline Binding here, but gotta try. And I'm gonna try to kill this Teferi. Oh, Archmage Charm? Sure. Honestly, that's not too bad because we can go Paladin, move the Cauldra. So yeah, we can go Paladin, move Cauldra, and then kind of, not like go off, but we can do stuff. Having the second Paladin is obviously nice as well. So if we hit like a second a second white source, then we can play through a, okay. Boop, boop, hmm. So they're casting Solitude, probably killing the Ornithopter. Yeah, we will float a mana here. It is unfortunate that we kind of hit in this exact sequence because we have one, two, but we don't have another artifact in play. Um, that being said, I think we, <laughs> yep. All right, well, so that's two Solitudes, two Teferis, Archmage Charm. Yeah, all right. And the chalice, of course. The chalice is the big, all right. Well, let's take eight, not blocking. I need to find, that's pretty good, admittedly. Yeah, yeah, because we can't, we can't do anything in response. Okay, okay, so I gained two, and I will go ahead and fetch here. Don't want to give away the information that we have a Hayward, so I'll just get a, um, okay, here's a Saga. So we're not dead, which I am a fan of not being, and we can't beat spells. <laughs> Um, I will move the mantle here. Um, and if we can, yeah, so if we can have them brick for one turn, then we're in pretty good shape. Because if they brick, then we can make a construct, which will give us uh, three artifacts, but we'll we'll see. And we're gonna have to chump this salt. Okay, all right, Castle Vantress, that is not currently an answer. Probably, yeah, put Kahira into hand. Are we playing Kahira? Makes sense to me. So play Kahira. Um, we're blocking the solitude either way, so we're gonna take five. Oh my god. <laughs> All right, yeah, yeah. Um, I mean, we could draw exactly pure steel paladin here, right? Yeah, what a beating. Here, let me move to, this is, I think, kind of a tough matchup if things go like this, where they like have the chalice for one on one. Um, I'm trying to think. So if we draw paladin, I don't think we can, but we do have, these five spells that we cannot cast. <laughs> okay, so the good news is we get to cut a lot of garbage. So Haywire Might is insane because it kills Chalice. Um, I think skills are definitely something we want to consider. Um, probably at least one. So like the Pierce is very good. The Haywire Might is very good. Um, Lavinia is something to consider as well because it stops Leyline Binding until turn six and it largely shuts off Solitude. So on the play, I think she's pretty good. She's also a two drop creature. Um, Cauldra, I think is good enough any, like even though yes, they can Archmage Charm it, um, like it's it's a powerful threat on its own. Um, Ornithopters are pretty bad. Um, and then they're usually addressing a lot of our cards. So we're definitely cutting like these five here. Um, I like Needle because we can name Teferi. Um, and then I don't hate Prismatic Ending because it can be an answer to both Chalice and Teferi since we have three colors of mana that we can fetch up. So we're definitely cutting these five and then we could bring in Lavinia's. It's, I mean, we can probably just cut it from as well. So like bring in these six, um, potentially. Blacksmith skill is pretty good against like Leyline Binding. Obviously if they have Teferi in play, it gets worse. Um, I think you can cut shadow. Seems fine. Core Duelist. Uh, I'm not going to address Core. I will, however, assist. Okay. Uh, yes, I would like to be on the play. Um, yeah, this is 
This is a very easy. So we can just turn one spring leaf drum, turn two sentinel aid off of saga. Yeah, that's pretty good. Ooh, okay. So we can start here. And I might, I might just, wow. I think I'm just gonna play a second. Probably don't chat right now. I'm not gonna discuss Court Duelist, but all right. Cool, so now we get to make a construct and play a Cigar Disade. Holy, okay. Um, so I'll play Cigar Disade here. Um, we are, we're definitely supposed to play out here because this way, if they have like exactly a kill spell, for the, the Ursus Saga, we can still make a dude. I will get in for one point of damage. And I, I don't want to make a construct during my main phase. Otherwise, I could have made it off of this and then tapped the construct for the for the drum for the Cigar Dizade. Right now, they're under a serious pressure. So they could have Dress Down, which is a thing. Um, if they have Dress Down, we draw a card off of the Sentinel. Okay. Um, I actually... Okay, so what are we doing? So we can, if we make a construct, then we can't animate in response to the hammer. I think it's worth it to just animate and like put it on the sentinel. Or not, not animate. Okay. Yeah, I mean, let's get a Colossus hammer. Uh, and I think we put it on an Esper sentinel to diversify our threats. Okay. Solitude pitching leyline binding. You got it. Float mana. Play pure steel paladin, move the move the hammer. Um, and I don't think there's a reason to get green here. We'll just get a planes, play out paladin. Do they also have that? Yes, they do. So the good news is we're still cracking in for six points of damage. Um, yeah, I mean, I'm still pretty happy with our spot overall. They had to have exactly solitude. Man, yeah, and like the solitude, we got rid of two removal spells with them pitching the solitude. And so now Paladin off the top, stone, like any iteration of hammer is excellent. Um, and we have 11 power in play that we can animate Ink Moth to turn it into 12. Um, okay, they can't Wrath. So to Fairy, sure. So to Fairy, probably bounce a construct would be my guess. And I probably animate Ink Moth, attack to Fairy with Ink Moth, attack them with Esper Sentinel and the construct that's left. Okay, bounce that one, sure. Okay, so there's also that. <laughs> um, so we can go Stoneforge Mystic. Can't Stoneforge Mystic animate and equip? I do. I do want to just like pressure them. But I just can I just not count? No, I was right. Yeah, get a hammer. And then of course we cannot do this in combat. So go ahead. I think we just put it on the construct that presents lethal, and then we still get to attack the Teferi. You, yeah, it's like okay. Do they have another solitude plus plus uh, white white card? If they do, they do. Okay. Um. So yeah, spell pierce is even more important on the draw. Um, which means I kind of like the drum a bit more. I'm like less high on Cauldra on the draw. This is actually hard to use because we don't have the Ornithopters. So, and we still have the Nettle Cyst as a threat. I kind of like March as a way to address Chalice because getting Chalice off the off the battlefield is so... Um, I don't usually trim skills in this matchup, especially since they have, well, they have like Leyline Bindings and things like that. I think this is fine. On the draw, we could... Lavinia is kind of mean matchup. Um, okay, so we have a Saga, which is kind of good enough on its own. I will play Haywire Might out on one in case they have Chalice, um, but I will... Okay, they're keeping seven. I'll keep this as... Okay, Zagoth Triome. Man... That's really good though. Um, so I think we need to go, we just need to go like Haywire Might plus, uh, and then next turn we go Saga Drum Aid. That's pretty good. I can always hide the the green mana if I need to. We can hide it behind the Cigar Disade. Love that. Okay, okay. So we can go Saga, probably play Drum, play Aid. Definitely lead with Saga here though, pretty sure. If they have a March, they have a March. You gotta get through the cards anyway. Um, and I don't think they're using the march. <laughs> um, and <clears throat> yeah, we can play aid here. I'm trying to think if there's a reason not to attack. Because I think they're jamming the Tef kind of regardless. I'm gonna attack for one. I'll get my, fr my free-ish point in. Because if they go like Teferi, um, Teferi bounce Urza Saga, I'm not sacking the Haywire Might to keep them from drawing a card. Okay. And so we're gonna play out the Ink Moth Nexus here. Um, because we will want as much colored mana as we can get next turn. So I'm going to play Ink Moth here 
and I'm not attacking because I do want to be able to hold up the the haywire activation. Also, if they just like cycle a shark typhoon or something for one here i don't want the haywire might to get to get ek ley line binding sure so they probably have chalice would be my guess this is fine wouldn't be the first time i've marched to ley line binding probably won't be the last they never see the march for x equals six they never okay let's uh make a dude make another construct um i think we're just supposed to get, keep it really simple right i think we put it on the yeah, I mean, just putting it on the, the not sick one. Like, if we put it here and they kill that, that means we still get to get our, you know, four or five points in. Yeah, let's put it there. Uh, I will choose yes. Hit you for four. Um, somebody just animate the Ink Moth Nexus, get an extra point in. Um, so is there a difference between putting them to 12 and putting them to... Putting them to 12 and putting them to 13? If we do that the difference um if we do that we don't get to kill them in one hit from a paladin but i think we're more likely to help get them with an in a uh, moth anyway so that's probably fine um turn they have a lot of cards in their hand and i don't like it i don't like it mm, okay five mana yeah you got it i wonder why now um i don't think there's for me to not just gain the extra life here get the extra extra point here um, and I think we might as well just get a temple garden. Okay. So yeah, let's um, force him to have another solitude plus white. First things first. All right, if you've got it, you've got it. I will make you have it. Again, we can trade, I guess. Okay, so they had another one. Pitching a third one, jeez, stop. So they kill that and then these trade. They're left with an empty board. So I don't hate it. We're at one trillion life. Sure. All right. Trade off. And then we can't move the hammer right now. Fine. Okay. So we've gotten rid of all the solitudes. Three solitudes. <laughs> Do we have five mana? All right. So if we fetch shock, like we, we can make a dude. Make a dude. Equip. Um... Huh. Weirdly, I don't hate marching. We lose a paladin to do it, which is pretty rough, but we save a construct, presents in a more immediate threat. They can definitely stick that. I don't think that's worth it. I think we, we just crack in for our two points here. Subtlety? <laughs> yep. All right. Yeah, I don't think we definitely can't do that. All right. Yep, yep. It's unfortunate. Fine. Okay. I still like just pushing there because they're just almost out of cards. They're almost out of solitudes. <laughs> um, so here we make a construct. Probably go get a ginger brute. Okay. So Kahira to hand. Please just play Kahira. I will. So I'll go to 40. You got it. There's no way they're shocking, right? Okay. They're shocking. What? What do they have? Okay. All right. Yeah, sure. Get a planes here. Make a dude. Okay. We probably just get a hammer. Put it on the construct. Yeah. All right, do this. So if they counterspell here, okay, sure. I only have a four. Okay, can they stop? <laughs> Please stop. Kahira is fine. Yep, yeah, yeah, take four. Because I do not have a flying creature. Even if this at one point had flying, it super doesn't have flying. I'll take it. I will take it. All right, I got a block. I'm happy with this. This is fine. Luckily, they have a lot of... <laughs> things to get through. It's rare that I want Shadow Spear. Man, I would totally take a Shadow Spear. <laughs> okay, yep. Yeah. Boldly no attacking when I have lethal on board. I like the style. Okay, no reason to do that right now, but to keep in mind in case they have like a removal spell for the hammer, which is definitely a thing. All right, yep. Okay, you only have one more solitude left in your deck. I don't feel too bad. All right, what you got? Prem Verdict. I think I will blacksmith skill the so they ley line binding here. Um, yeah, unfortunately we don't have another one, and they have that up. So we have four. Okay, yeah, you got it. It's fine. Resolve. Okay, land. So one, two, three, four, five. We can almost <laughs> we can, we can almost kill a ley line. We've gone through two sagas so far, so I wouldn't hate drawing another saga either. Okay, I do need to play a little bit faster here. And I certainly don't want to draw another colored source, so I will fetch here. Hollowed Fountain Tap. Okay. Hey, yeah. I mean, all right. Yeah. For 11? It's like, I would I would presume they'd do it. They would uh, respond to the equip. Cookie. Up with the ley line. Okay. 
Um, yeah, I guess. All right, cookie down. Eh, all right, three, four, five, six. So we're one shy. Like, I don't think I'm actually going to lay line, like, march a ley line binding, but it's good to know I could. Archmage charm draw two. Yeah, all right. Take in. No shock? All right, I can dream, right? Okay. Um, yeah, I mean, do you have a counter spell? All right, go. All right, yeah, I wouldn't be surprised if they just had another couple lands in hand. Uh, Teferi, maybe? Verdict, yep. Those fetch lands looking a uh, little, little spooky over there. Okay, that is not... Okay, well, now I kind of like getting... <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six. Um, yeah, let me just wait. That is a lethal threat. And five, six, nope. We cannot equip a hammer. Not that it's relevant. Dress down, you say. During the end step. Okay. Draw your card. I kind of feel like they didn't want to... I don't know. It's pretty close. What you got for me? The spell pierce looking mighty dead. Ottawara? I will play Esper. All right. Here, your go. We are we are both just scrapping. Uh, sure. So they get to make make two one ones. All right. Gain four life. All right. Yeah, you got it. Um. So probably just I don't like ending and marching here. I think we just passed the turn. Yeah, another saga does it. It's gonna start playing a little bit quicker, so I don't lose to the clock. Should be okay. Boldly no attacks there anymore all right okay um yep all right so they have just so i have it four five six seven nine ten eleven all right yeah this these spell pierce is looking so good <laughs> spell pierce looking like a snack over here okay honestly i don't hate it i wonder if they must have like just boarded out their chalices it's the only thing i can think of two verdicts all right well easy peasy would you like to pay five six um yep all right you got it Ooh, awesome, awesome. I don't think we have anything we can fit. Okay, okay. Um, yeah, let's pass. And then on end step, cast Cauldra. Yeah, I like casting the Cauldra end step because it presents pressure, um, obviously. So that's one, two, two counter spells and mage charm. So I like to have another counter spell. So maybe I'm supposed to wait another turn. Doesn't feel right, but. All right, all right. Let's do the thing. Okay, subtlety. Um, one, two, five, six, seven. Okay. Um, another turn. Perfect. <laughs> and I am just gonna cast the cauldron here. Target spell. Um, yep. I might as well use off, right? Now we might actually be able to stick something on our turn. Unlikely, but possible. Saga. Oh my god. <laughs> um. All right. It's gonna plink a couple of these guys down. Um, pass turn. How have we drawn so many non-Ink Moth lands? <laughs> like, I would have taken one of those. Yeah, march that thing. We, we, oh boy. So what are you hitting, opponent? Probably a Leyline Binding. Checks out. Sentinel, sure. Okay. What else you got for me? Do you have a Solitude? Or, uh, yeah, so four Solitude. It was, about to, it was bound to happen eventually, right? Yep, you got it, you got it. Okay, so we can legitimately march the Leyline Binding. Okay, yes. Um, let's get a nettle cyst here. Cast nettle cyst. Nope. Um, and one. Oh, fuck. Um, whatever. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, you got it. So we can still. All right. So yeah, we need to march the ley line binding. The ley line binding. One. Cast one, two, three, four, five. X is currently seven. We're probably just gonna lose the time because I played pretty slow, because I play a lot slower when I'm doing commentary, but we shall see if this resolves. It's not okay. This is rough. Okay, so they have another removal spell for the haywire might. Gain control. Pretty gross. Yep. That's pretty disgusting. Uh, yes, we needed to find another, we needed to find a third saga before the, you know, we were 40 cards into our deck. Um, I'm trying to think if I mishandled this game. It's entirely possible. There were a lot of turns. Oh, perfect. We found it. All right. <laughs> Six mana. Is it a shark typhoon? Oh, it's that. Okay, sure. GG's. GG's. And I will see y'all in round three. All right, we are on the play for round, what round are we in? Four? Um... 
I mean, this hand is a keep. This is definitely an instance where I would I prefer um, drum over this, but it is fine. I will lead Marsh Flats, probably Esper Sentinel, Basic Plains. I think I'm actually gonna round out the Ornithopter too, because that means we can go aid, <clears throat> flash in the mantle on the Ornithopter. It generates mana and then we, if they have Fury, they have Fury. I don't know what they're on though, and not enough decks in the format play Fury on, or in like in game. Get our, oh boy, so a fast deck. Is it Dredge? It's probably dread. Okay. Um, and I'm actually going to just attack for one here. Yeah, because next turn we can we can crack in with the hammer and protection. It's almost definitely dredge. They probably thought about I don't know. I don't know. We have two gems. To Glimpse of tomorrow. Okay, gotcha. I am fine with this now. And yeah. Mm, yes, because we could draw a card that matters. Okay, Limps combo. Ooh, exciting. I'm curious what, like if, if it's the, like the normal version with like normal creatures or if it is, uh, or if it's, yeah, okay. <laughs> it's it's just the nonsense. Okay, uh, Spell Pierce, please. It's not Spell Pierce. Would they flip? Would they flip? Uh, it looks like a, a, they, they, they hit nothing. So I don't even know. They just hit like land, land, no clue. All right, crash in. Six, you got it. Stoneforge, any any version of a hammer. Do not have a blocker, Wee. All right, well, so I'm glad I have these Lavinias and these Dranith Magistrates. That I'm happy with those things. Um, other than that though, I mean, the, the Spell Pierce is good and Blacksmith Skill protects all these Hate Bears because they, they simply cannot win if any of these Hate Bears. So like, we don't need the Nettle Cyst. Um, Esper Sentinel, I don't think we need. Generally in these matchups, I think it's pretty bad. Um, Ornithopter, I think is good enough. Giver protects those as well. We could cut the Cauldra, but I like having the Ginger Brutes fine. Paradise Mantle and like one... Ornithopter, I think that's fine. On the draw, maybe we cut the uh, the cauldron and keep the Ornithopter. Actually, I, I like keeping the Mantle more because it is a way for us to... So name of the game here is either Very Fast Kill or Hate Bear with Protection. Uh, we will mulligan the hand that can't cast any spells. And this hand is also terrible. Um, I mean, this hand's kind of fast at least. So bottom... Probably bottom planes pair, uh, pure steel. So we go turn one, fetch, shock for blue. Uh, so hollowed fountain, cigar to Zade, turn two, ink moth, stone forge. Yeah, all right. We also didn't draw a hate bear in the top, you know, three cards. All right, yep. Colony Garden, you got it. Um, okay, well, shock that in. And this is definitely a deck that's gonna have like force of vigor and stuff like that. If they do, they do. Not a whole lot I can do with, so I'm just not gonna, not gonna play around it in, in this game. All right, yeah. Go get the uh, Colossus Hammer. See if we win the game. So I will not be holding back. There's like almost nothing in the world that would make me hold back. If we draw like exactly Lavinia, then I'll play Lavinia. But that's maybe, I mean, Drana. But they're probably just going to go for it here. I'm assuming they have it because kept the hand. So Shardless, yep. All right, we get five hits. Okay. Okay. They could just be dead. It's not very good. It's not, not a very good one. And now these have like secret reach, right? All right. I'm, I'm going to try to kill you, opponent. <laughs> Yeah, like, but now they just have six. Like, they just have a, a reasonable clock now. Yeah, all right. <clears throat> Let's go for the kill. We know they don't have Spell Pierce in their deck. I will say if I had Lavinia, I would have put cast her there because she also... Oh, okay, we win the game. Um, Because if we draw Lavinia, then she stops Force of Vigor on future turns, so we can take a hit, untap, and then go for the kill pretty safely. But Dranith Magistrate doesn't stop Force of Vigor, so you know. Um, they, they do different things, but that's why we have them split. But anyway, yeah, so we've got that one. Let's see if we can uh, finish with a nice 4-1. All right, and the matches are coming fast. We have no hammer and one land. This hand is a, a, a trap. Um, this hand is not good either. Like we have Esper Sentinel. If we were on the play, I might keep this, but this hand's not very good. 
Okay, so they kept six, it looks like. Um, okay, yeah, this hand is fine. Um, so we definitely want the Paladin. Probably want the Mantle because it, you know, it's the second white source. Um, so we, we definitely want one, two, three, four, probably just like these five. Um, and then we can hopefully rip, if we rip a white source, like obviously the, the Colossus Hammer is insane, but if we don't, then we, we need that second white source. So I think I'm going to bottom these two. Also, if we do hit a white source and we can like go paladin drum draw or uh, mantle draw card it's not not all downside but mantle also acts as a third land for the saga potentially pretty pretty big upside to keeping the the mantle here so probably monkey yep all right well this esper sentinel is probably not going to be around anyway so i will just shock here play this it is nice that we have the um the third land rolled up because now i, I feel much more comfortable blocking with the uh, with, <laughs> with the sentinel okay i'm gonna kill it and i draw a card all right it's not really the card i want so they probably don't have a second because they probably would have played it first garden okay all right um yes yeah, so we'll go saga sentinel mantle equip probably because i kind of want to get the mantle into play anyway um this might have been bad yeah so like i definitely needed to think this turn out a little bit more sometimes sometimes you know this happens oh, okay so i'm just gonna draw a card uh okay sure i think we didn't have hate all right okay so we get to go just like land make a two two interesting sure good like for once ragman's hitting stuff that i don't want okay yeah and pretty hard for me not just to make a construct here we'll see what they get okay so they stop steam vents you got it bobble who are we hitting okay okay so they know about hammer um see so yeah, i think it's just make a con so we make a construct we might not even block um so make a construct or if we just let this hit happen i think i'd rather just keep the the dude around right yeah jared mesa yeah good i don't i don't want any of these you take all those because this time oh wow okay so merc tide plus counter spell would be my guess sure six yeah okay let's go get a planes let's make a dude okay so i don't think i'm supposed to make a think i am supposed to float mana go get float mana go get shadow spear um so if we float mana and go get shadow spear it becomes a three can't attack and take five in the air they've already bolted us bolted one thing so they probably don't have like two more bolts um i don't really want to equip this turn so we can also just go get like a drum and then cast stone forge off of floating mana drum and uh planes and cast giver hammer float mana um yeah so float mana get a drum get a shadow spear yeah seems pretty good um i think we cast shadow spear cast counter spell uh bolts sure float white off of that yeah i am certainly less concerned about about getting bolted out of the game now and play giver here and so now if we hit any land we get to go cauldra pure steel that don't hate that so many bolts and so many bolts all right all right what you got opponent it's three bolts and unholy heat all right and unfortunately i think i have to okay yeah all right you get to see what i'm drawing i don't think you have any more removal spells so six seven eight take eight because i'm dead in two attacks from the murktide anyway so yeah we we have to just take this here if they have what fourth lightning bolt oh i think they played land for turn maybe not no i think they played steam Bat. all right okay so we have to play pure steel first unfortunately because i would love to play hammer oh well, i guess it doesn't because we, we can't uh all right please don't have a pretty pretty please if you had a pierce i feel like you would all already pierced but who knows yay <laughs> Whee! all right that was way closer than i was. so on the draw the ending is really good skills are good pierce these seven for sure i don't think either of those but i do like nettle Sist a lot heavy sanctifier plan definitely cut those five rum fine we go heavy on skills a little bit lighter on pierce the one the givers i think this is fine got the needle make sure yep yeah let's do the thing all right we are on the play with needle aid saga i'm going to keep and i am just going to will 
a white source to the top of my just just gonna draw one drc you got it if you hear some snoring in the background don't mind me that's uh, my dog ben and consider so they already have three card types pretty good they're likely to potentially crack in for three next turn okay well go of course i'm starting with a a, a shock means that they're less likely to blood moon me but we'll see what they grab with see just one big fan of that it could be problematic otherwise all right all right well let's uh let's play this needle the counterspell the needle the counterspell the needle. looks like they are counterspelling the needle all right well at least we get to oh they didn't want to get misty yep all right um so let's go ahead and name yeah engineered explosives and i think i will i think i would rather hold up the skill for the needle and hopefully we draw another a non urza saga land here lightning bolt me very aggressive <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you got it. That's funny. Still only three card types. All right. Yeah, I guess they didn't want to draw that. Okay, this is not a blood. Yeah, and so if they didn't have Blood Moon right there, um, I feel pretty favored to win from here because usually their only way of getting Sigarda's Aid off the board is is an EE, and because we have the because we have that covered, we're in good shape. Um, so if we do draw a White Source here, I will jam the Sanctifier. Luckily. We don't have to think about that. Um, interesting. So one thing to consider is if we make a dude and they have like dress down, then we're not in great shape. But I do kind of like kind of like playing Esper Sentinel here because they're a little taxed on mana, and we can we can play Hammer if they try to kill the Sentinel. Yeah, and of course there's there's like basically no reason for me to run the Hammer out. Because if they Blood Moon, then they have to pay the Sentinel tax, and then we can hammer in response after after they pay the tax if they have the fourth land. And of course, we will float mana off of this Saga. Yep, I will take three. You got it. Like this, this reeks of a Blood Moon. No, okay, no Blood Moon. Yep, no reason to run that out. I don't think it matters which order we stack it in. So I will float here. Uh, yeah, I'm just gonna try to hammer them to death here. Um, yeah, hammer. Put it on the Sentinel. Hmm. We can pay for a pierce here. I mean, we draw a card also. Yeah, I'm down. Use the floating mana. I will attack you for lethal damage. A braid. Okay. Well, I would first like to draw a card. Okay, they did not want to pay 20. All right, yeah. Obviously, would have been nice. Oh, okay, cool. GG's. But yeah, Um. so this was an instance where the rising canopy definitely better than Steel Shaper's Gift. Ah, uh, yep, the opponent talked it out right. But, um, cool. All right, well, let's see. Yeah, I mean, 4-1, never disappointed with a 4-1. Let's go take a look at the deck. Okay, so uh, Sanctifier is super, super good right now. Uh, kind of the more I've played this card, the more I'm like, you could play four and probably be fine. But I like I like having more diversity in the sideboard. Um, Lavinia and Dranith Magistrate are obviously good against Cascade. And then Dranith Magistrate, of course, shines against opponents with uh, Breach. And then I kind of like the removal split as well. So you have these three that hit kind of different things. And then for the mirror match, you also have Haywire Might. Haywire Might's super good. Um, obviously, like it wasn't insane any of the match. Um, we started with the one of in our opening hand against um, uh, blue white you know five color blue white control so that's not really where you want it but um if they had had like a chalice start then i think haywire might does a lot to kind of rectify that situation um nettle cyst is totally fine i could take it or leave it i think you want a fair equipment right now and it also is probably the best one um paradise mantle didn't really shine in those matchups but there are definitely spots where it can just do a ton of work if you want to cut it for a drum you totally can i might now that i cut now that i cut the um the steel shapers gift paradise mantle certainly loses some value and because i don't have the haywire might in the main i could see cutting the mantle for a gift or for a for a drum um, especially since we generally don't have a lot of mana sinks. Um, I like Ornithopter a lot more than Memnite right now. I don't think you need Memnite to beat the Ra the uh, Ragavan decks, and Ornithopter not dying to Renin 6, and then also having Evasion is really big, as we saw against Yawgmoth. Yeah, we beat Yawgmoth, all right. I'm fine drawing bad and losing against Blue-White. Um, I'd have to look back at the footage of the Blue-White matchup, because obviously there were a lot of decisions, and I wasn't playing as quickly as I normally would, Because, but certainly something to consider. Um, I might have mismanaged the game a little bit um if you saw something let me know happy to review that um i kind of like kind of like the 23rd land um i feel like a lot of times when i lose it's because i don't hit my third or fourth land on time and canopy is a nice split especially if you have the haywire might 
post board. So yeah, I mean, I have the, the six quote unquote protection effects in the givers, the blacksmith skills, and the spell pierces. It's good. It also frees up by having the blacksmith skills and spell pierces in the main. It frees up a lot of space in the sideboard. Um, I mean, I, I think I think you're just really well served by playing a lot of those kind of tricks and you can mix and match them post board. Um, I don't I see some people playing like relic and things like that. I don't think you need graveyard hate. I still just don't think it's super relevant. Um, your best plan against living end is to just keep them from keep them off of wrathing you to begin with. Um, and then against dredge, you're just like wildly favored, especially with three sanctifier in fact, which just like beat them by the cell effectively. Um, yeah, I mean, happy with the list. Um, I think the green splash is like free enough where Haywire Might is just a super powerful effect. Um, it's pretty good against the blue-white deck, uh, any Chalice of the Void deck, really. And then, of course, it's very good in the mirror match because you can address a Cauldra, whereas otherwise you just basically don't have any outs to Cauldra. Um, it's also good against like Amulet Titan, things like that, because um, it's just another prismatic ending March of Otherworldly Light effect. And it's just pretty good. I think the splash is pretty free. We have between the eight fetches, the Temple Garden, and the Rising Canopy, we have 10 sources. And then you also, of course, have the uh, the drums and the, the mantle to play off of it as well. And so, I mean, you have, you know, 11, 12, 13, 13 theoretically ver uh, copies of green in the post board but anyway now i'm just kind of rambling but i hope you all enjoyed um let me know what you think and you know have a good day bye bye